Hello everyone and welcome back to Let's Play Road Wave 3 with me, Alpha Biomega, and the Kaiser of Marina. It is 1911, uh, we're starting the second year after the war with Italy, United States and Great Britain has ended. And even though we are still in money-saving mode and not very successful one, I'm happy to say that the relations that we have with everyone at this point are Really nice, really nice and really good. The highest tensions, as you can see, are between the United States and Italy, ironically, and between Spain and United States, where, you know, it is about Cuba. It's always about Cuba. What else would it be about? Now, the aforementioned war that you can see here uh, that took nearly four years uh, actually took Italy down so much that it has pretty much ended up at the edge of obscurity. Um, it has 116,600 tons, um, which means it's the second smallest fleet uh, after Spain, which is 87,300 tons. But uh, Austria-Hungary isn't doing much better. They are at 127,700 tons. So these two belligerents are both extremely exhausted. Who is not exhausted though is United States and uh, us. We are both now at above 300,000 tons. Great Britain scrapped some of their older ships. They are at 405,800 tons. France catching up to us at 301,000. 301,300 tons, Russia 230,300 uh, tons. So yeah, it is um, it is devastating for the one that loses uh, the war. You know, they both Spain and Italy lost major conflicts, and look at them now. And Russia lost one as well, but you can still see the difference. Even you know, what, what was it? Uh, 11 years after, yeah, they're still suffering. So hopefully this fate will not come to us. Here is the tonnage comparison for all the mentioned nations. Uh, here is the tonnage comparison for the combined. You can see that we added about 50,400 tons uh, in the past year, which is pretty good. Uh, we're slowly uh, moving away from 2 million tons again. And here is the relative tonnage comparison uh, for the current year. As I mentioned, uh, we added another column, so we are starting our actual fourth decade now. Really interesting. I don't know, as 1890 uh, to 1900, 1900 to 1910. No, third decade. Okay, so it's the third one. Uh, but still, you know, quite a big chunk of time has passed. Economy and budget. Uh, well, we are in a pretty bad shape, uh, but you guys know that uh, I ranked our stability by C- minus this year uh, for a number of reasons. Our expenses are still extremely high. We are at 108%. Uh, actually, 108.6% of our income, which itself dropped by nearly 40% year on year. Um, I'm kind of shocked by the fact that we are actually... Um, you know, way, actually, no, not way lower, but we are lower than the pre-war uh, time. I guess this is because there are pretty much no existing tensions with anyone, so we are really, you know, just getting nothing. Uh, but I wasn't expecting that we, it would be worse uh, than the years uh, 1906, 1907, and it is. So that's kind of shocking. On the other hand, you know, uh, the, the country has poured so much money uh, into the Navy in the past uh, three years that this is quite understandably uh, where they're going to try to save. Uh, what we did, uh, though, is cut down... Uh, all of our expenses quite extremely. You can see the total expenses drop by nearly 40%, ship cost by over 70%, submarines by over 50%, fortification by 40%. And the only thing that we are actually struggling with cutting is construction, where we reduced it by only slightly less than 8%. But it's going to clear itself out in the couple next months. We have a plan that we need to follow, and that's going to finally put us, uh, you know, in our you know in our budget basically we're gonna start living within our means um what's making me nervous the most is the funds uh we have it's only 2370 reichsmark which is a nearly 85 percent drop year on year but uh, you know 
we used what little money we had saved uh, to stabilize ourselves and uh, today we are going to take further steps which I will talk about a little bit later. Here you can see again the huge drop that we had in uh, the budget. It's actually really quite dramatic. Uh, but on the other hand, you know, looking at it, uh, around 1900 or 1899, this was our war budget. So you can see that, you know, we're definitely going up. And here on the trend line, you can definitely see that, you know, the trend is always up. Uh, there really is no going down. And it's actually adding a couple percents every single year. So, you know, it's, it's pretty good. And considering, you know, we started with, uh, what was that, 60, 68,000? You know, now we have more than triple of that, basically, or, you know, about two and a half times that in extremely peaceful times. You know, the progress is there. Research. Uh, well, research-wise, we had a couple of... Uh, levels uh, this year. We got a level in fire control, ship design, um, white forces and torpedoes, torpedo technology, explosive shells, fleet tactics, and naval guns. Uh, the naval guns uh, were the 15-inch guns of quality minus one. We've checked that uh, in the previous episode. They're a little bit underwhelming, so we're gonna stick with the 14-inch guns of quality zero. I wonder which guns we're gonna get of quality one first, because we still have only three-inch guns of quality one. So I'm kind of interested in seeing, you know, what's gonna happen. Plus we have nine-inch guns and 13-inch guns, both of quality minus two. That's something. I wonder if that's the technical uh, variations or technological variations that we have in the game that we have such random numbers. Pretty, pretty interesting. Also, you know, we can see quite big differences between some um, some of the technologies. Uh, how construction 10, but fire control 15. Machine development 12, but the light forces only 7. So, you know, we're starting to see some, some differences and some specializations here and there. Fleet overview. Well, uh, this is something where I would like to stop a little bit today because we will have to make some further plans for our Navy. Now, I started the previous episode by saying that I don't want to do too much work um, off camera or, you know, uh, by myself and then just tell you the results because I wanted to investigate and learn about the ships together with you guys. I learned with you guys and I made a couple of decisions off cam now before this episode based on the learnings that we had in the previous one and I'm gonna talk a little bit about that and yes unfortunately it means we're gonna be scrapping quite a lot of our ships but we're gonna be rebuilding some others so I'm gonna talk about that right now. Uh, suffice to say that the Navy is gonna be reduced in quite a lot of tons. Anyway Noya Lara here uh, we've talked about that at length. Uh, what I want to mention here is I added that 1911 from 1915 will be the years of full application of Noel Lara into our fleet's uh, doctrine. So we're gonna start, uh, you know, working on that and making sure that um, it is applicable or that it its applications are seen throughout the Navy. That's what I want to say. Okay, so looking at our ships, Weisenbergs are going to be retired. This year we are going to scrap them. Uh, I was thinking about this for a long time and uh, the rebuild worked well, I think, but it is not working the way we need it to. It, the Weisenbergs actually did nothing in the colonies and uh, I looked at what we could do with them right now and I think it's just not worth it. So we're gonna scrap them. Uh, this is going to be one of the first things that we're going to do in January as part of the Noel Ladder. Uh, these have to be retired because they no longer can serve any purpose. Uh, Deutsche Kaisers, uh, we've already investigated, they're going to be rebuilt eventually. Uh, we have quite a lot of plans for them. Donau class, uh, we have only one Elbe, it's going to rebuild as well. Rhein class, again, these are fairly new 24 knots that are going to be core of one of our battle squadrons. Berlin and Frankfurt, uh, they're going to come soon uh, in 1912 uh, in February and in July, if nothing changes. And they're going to be our two uh, flagships for the uh, North Sea battle squadron. Hertha. 
Uh, Herta is one of the few ships that I decided to leave completely alone, so it's gonna uh, remain mobile or re uh, in reserve. No plans uh, to do anything with them. Uh, Victoria Louise, the same thing. These ships are fairly good. I tried doing, I tried, I tried everything with Victoria Louise, and unfortunately, this ship cannot be rebuilt in any meaningful way. So what we're gonna do for now is we're just gonna leave them be. As they are and they will be relegated to colonial service i'm enjoying but for now they, there's really nothing we can do with them first bismarck well first bismarcks are unfortunately going to be retired as well all of them uh they did well during the war they worked as raiders some of them were interned i tried to see if we could rebuild them in some meaningful way now unfortunately we can't and uh, due to their size of only 4,600 tons and fairly light um, weapons, uh, the single 7-inch guns forward and aft is just not up to par with today's uh, today's demands, I would say. So first Bismarcks are going to be scrapped as well. Prince Heinrich, another uh, kind of ship that I'm going to leave alone. Uh, they are going to serve in the colonies as patrol boats and trade protection. König von Preussen, there really isn't much to say here. That's uh, one of our most modern ships, so, uh, you know, definitely not going to be retired or anything. König von Bayern, we're going to build a number of them. I plan four of them. We'll see how fast we can get them in service. The first one should come in June this year. Gazelles. Uh, gazelles. Gazelles are going to be extensively rebuilt. Uh, they're going to be used in the colonies. Uh, we can upgrade their 5-inch uh, guns to 6-inch guns. We can increase the amount of secondaries. And we can equip them with more mines and ammo. And I think they can actually reach up to 24 knots. So I decided that these ones we're going to keep despite their small uh, size. And the fact that it's going to be their second rebuild. They can be rebuilt very well. For some reason, some ships just work, some don't, and gazelles do. So those are going to be the ships that we're going to be rebuilding. Hela is going to be retired. Unfortunately, not much we can do with this kind of, with this type of ship, so that it's going to have to go. Uh, Gaffions are going to be retired, all six of them. Again, what works for gazelles just doesn't seem to work for Gaffions. Uh, there really isn't much that we can do, and they're really small 3100 tons it's borderline um i mean it's it's near a corvette you know at this point so they just have to go tatis we never had vibex well we spoke about vibex before uh we can actually make them go up to 28 knots which is just insane so we're gonna look into that and we can equip them with mines so I'm planning to install mine rails on these and the free woodbacks that we have uh, in our duty uh, still. Uh, Danzig has been lost at the Battle of Forge. Uh, the three remaining ones will be uh, working. And with 28 knots, uh, their primary you know, role as a raider is going to be on a strengthened. Hansas. Uh, there the new ships actually we have three not two there's a typo here so please ignore that uh, but again because they are new ships which came into service again I have a typo here they already are in service uh, since 1908 uh, they're gonna be working as the uh, modern ship in our fleet we also have the first ship of the Karlsruhe there really is no you know rebuild available for a ship that has been built a couple of months ago now, what's interesting, though, is we can extensively rebuild uh, the Fauin's uh, destroyers. I thought that I would retire them, but for just for fun, I actually looked at what we can do with them, and we can do quite a lot. Surprisingly, we can do quite a lot. What I plan, though, is I'm going to make them slightly slower. Uh, they're going to drop to, I think, 27 knots, but we can give them mines and mine sweeping gear. So they're going to be split into two squadrons uh, with goals of uh, mining and mine sweeping in the Baltic and in the North Sea. Uh, same thing with uh, VF1s. Uh, I haven't really checked what we can do with these. 
uh, destroy leaders, but I expect, you know, as they are working with the foul ions, uh, they're going to have the same uh, kind of role. The G1 class is a new one. We, we know about this one, so there really isn't much that uh, we want to say about these ones. Uh, they have mines, so they're going to be mining. I think I didn't equip them with uh, mine sweeping gear, so, you know, that's going to be the domain of the foul ions for now. Now, uh, the Columbia has been retired, uh, August Piper has also been retired, and Delphin class. I was kind of surprised we can uh, actually rebuild these quite extensively. Uh, I will uh, make them much faster. Uh, the three that we have, we can equip them with mines and mine sweeping gear. We'll have to downgrade their guns, but it's not really, you know, their primary role to fight anyone. Uh, they're gonna be protecting trade and serve as mining and mine sweeping ships. Uh, same with Fredericas. Again, to my big surprise, they can be uh, rebuilt. They'll be sort of faster. We can equip them with mines and give them mine sweeping gear. Silove is the new uh, corvette that we're building. Uh, this one, of course, has uh, mines and the mine sweeping gear. Actually, I don't know if they have the mine sweeping gear, but they have mines. So we're gonna build a couple more of these, and they're gonna be working primary as a mine laying ship. And that's up to all of the changes that we have in the fleet. Uh, we discussed the possibilities of uh, improving the cost of batteries, but that is secondary to the. Uh, primary plans that we have for our navy. Once those are finished, we can start uh, deploying the. I think we checked the 10 inch batteries, but it might be uh, 12 inch cost of batteries. We're gonna see. Um, I hadn't have made no um, no final plans for this. And officer core, we're closing it. We now have five fleet admirals. We have eight regular admirals. We have 30 contra admirals. 30 contra admirals. My God, that's almost crazy. Uh, we have 44 Capitans to Rosette and 17 Fregat and Capitans. I'm actually interested in seeing what's going to happen with the officers uh, because uh, we're going to be retiring quite a lot of ships and rebuilding quite a lot. So the fleet is temporarily going to drop and I wonder if we're going to see um, some results in the total officers that we have or if that's just not going to impact it out. We'll have to see. Uh, the core uh, ability share, you can see here, we have no more brilliant officers, but we still have one incompetent. I still plan to fire him. Uh, we have 29 officers below average, 22 average, 10 above average, and 42 unknown. With the rebuilds and um, work with the fleet, I'm thinking we might burn through some of our prestige to put officers, uh, the better officers in command where we want them, but uh, I don't want to go too overboard as, you know, uh, the officers rotate all the time, so, you know, you can put someone somewhere and he's going to be promoted next month and it was a complete waste, so, still. Anyway, thank you very much for joining me and I'll see you in a second for you in the game. So, hello, hello, and welcome back to the game. In January 1911, we have a monthly balance of negative 1110 Reichsmark, which will uh, which means that we actually can last for about two months, but I think I have a hunch. Yes, so we have accelerated construction of uh, Frankfurt. So if we remove that, okay, now we're good for almost four months. Um, in two months, the sea lava is going to be finished and then we're good. Okay, so we have to do what we said we want to do. It's going to hurt us, but uh, it is for the better good. So where do we have the Weissenbergs? So Weissenbergs are going to be retired. So all three of them we are going to scrap those. Yes, we gained 852 for them. Okay, it's actually pretty good. And we should see them now here. Yes, Weissenbergs. Uh, they have been rebuilt, uh, rebuilt in 1903, and they were built in 1889 and scrapped in 1911. So they served us for 22 years. Not bad, you know, considering all the technological advancements. Now the Gaffions. 
Uh, where are you? So, as I said, the Gaffions, I'm gonna show you guys what I mean with the rebuilds because for these ones, there just isn't anything that we can do. Uh, they're all aging, they, they're capable of about 18 knots now. And if I replace the machinery here and give them the turbine, you will see that it really doesn't work too well. Because if we want to make them, and that's the only reason why we would want to keep them, if we want to give them 32 mines, the top speed we could give them right now would be 22 knots. And that is, in combination with a 4-inch gun, it's just not enough. If we build this ship, um, I can actually show you that. Uh, that was my, you know, litmus test for these kinds of ships. If I actually go ahead and I design a light cruiser, you know, make it 3,500 tons. Um, okay, if I just, okay, let's clear all of the turrets. It is capable of, you know, 26 knots, no problem. Okay, it doesn't have any guns, uh, but you know what I mean, you know, if... Uh, I added, I think they were, what, what are they, 3,100, uh, so if you made it, for example, 3,500 and made it as a new kind of ship, I could add forward turret and uh, an aft turret, and we still have quite a lot, and, you know, they could be caliber. Uh, six inches. I could even increase the guns for them, you know, and we could make it, for example, 4,000 tons, and it would be already performing extremely well. And it's a new ship compared to the Gaffion. You know, it costs about 15,000k, right? The Gaffions would cost much less to rebuild, but this is a new ship, you know, with better armor, uh, better guns already, because the Gaffions have what, five inch? No, they actually have six inch, but you know. This is a new ship with 600, uh, with 26 knots worth of speed, and the Gaffians are just not cutting it. And they're, you know, they're gonna age quite significantly in the upcoming years again, so it's just not worth it. So, Gaffians are gonna go as well. So, we're gonna scrap these three. And Austria Hunger is interested in buying our ship Electra, built in 1896 for 248. Uh, why not? Sure, okay. You can, you can have it. I'm happy to say that it's going to go. Okay, did we sell it or did we not? Uh, it's actually, I found that I clicked the yes, but it told me... Electra? Yeah, Jupiter. It's there. Okay, cool. So they got it. Nice. So I hope it's gonna serve you well, Austria-Hungary. And uh, we're gonna retire Hela. Where do we have Hela? Hela, Hela, Hela over here. So again, this is an extremely small ship. It's actually pretty good. It serves us really well, but again, the rebuild, you know, it's just a single ship of its class. So I don't really see, um, see the benefit and it has uh, only five inch guns so you know two and a half inch belt it, it's just i mean i don't want to bad mount these ships you know they're def they definitely serve us well as raiders and you know if we wanted to we could just rebuild them but overall i think we have to move to newer designs that are going to be more in line with the noia ladder so hella has to go so let's scrap it i'm gonna have to do for the two and we're gonna retire the fused Bismarcks, the heavy cruisers. Now again, the fused Bismarcks were something that I struggled with. I did pretty much spend like 20 minutes playing with the rebuilds, seeing what we could do. It all comes down to the fact that we just can't make them fast enough. They can go up to 20 knots maximum. You know, and we will have to upgrade their guns. And you know, th this is just, just not cutting it, you know. Even if I removed some of the um, some of the torpedo tubes, you know, we just can't get it maximum to 21 knots. Considering that our battle cruisers and the light cruisers are now capable of 26 knots, this is just 
you know, it would be hunted down like an animal and devoured in the next war. It's just not worth it, you know. And because it's a heavy cruiser, they cannot also lay mines. So there really isn't any place for them in the future of our fleet. Well, I feel really bad for saying that, you know, because I like these. That They served us very well. But again, we have to move forward. And there, unfortunately, is just not place for this design. So we disposed of them for 920. You can see that that's boosting our funds and actually lowering the monthly balance. So we're actually doing pretty good. And once we finish uh, the sea level, we might actually uh, start maybe some rebuilds. Uh, what I wanted to say about the rebuilds, the first one that I would really like to rebuild would be the gazelles because they are actually surprisingly good. Uh, when it comes down to the performance. Look at that, 620. Again, I, I don't understand how this works for some ships and doesn't work for others. I think that they are capped at, yes, 24 knots. So we can rebuild them to 24 knots. We can increase the caliber of their primary guns. We can give them a secondary extra and we can make them mine laying ship. I don't think they can carry as light because of the mine sweeping gear. Yes, it's removed. Okay, fine. So we still have 84, uh, 84 remaining. I mean, the rebuild is going to cost us 12,000 uh, per ship. But I still think it's, you know, it's worth it. It is definitely worth it. Can I increase the guns on the forward and aft? Would that would the game allow that? Aha, uh -huh, okay, so we cannot. Uh, so we cannot actually do that, but I think I can just give them an addition. Wow. Increase the caliber of the secondaries? I could. And, okay, so the rebuild for them would be 12,000, about 13. 1500 something but the ship is capable of 24 knots it has six inch primaries four inch secondaries um i think that's worth it you know i, I checked building a completely new ship would be a little bit more expensive and we're primarily looking forward to having mine laying ships so these ones can be separated and work as mine laying ships in some of our um, some of our colonies, uh, like, uh, you know, India. Well, I, I could probably put all of them into the Indian Ocean and just have them lay mines in there in the case of another war or in the Mediterranean, something like that. So, you know, that is a pretty good thing. Uh, for the Fredericas, uh, I think we also had a pretty good possibility for rebuild. If we replace the machinery, and give them the turbine. I'm really surprised how cheap it is. Okay, we can just give them one extra knot. 23, that's fine. Upgrade their guns. And I can give them the mines and mine sweeping gear. And it's just about, okay, and it's like 1800 per rebuild. Ammo allowance. Ah, that's fine. That's fine. We don't have any fire control. So this is good, you know. So they can get... An extra knot, they can be up, their guns can be upgraded and they can get mines and mine sweeping gear for this cheap. So that's something that we want to do as well. Anyway, I spend a lot of time talking about stuff. Uh, let's now burn through some of the months so that we can actually start doing stuff. So let's end the turn here. Captain Suze Streter is promoted to Contra Admiral. Captain Suze Netzbond is placed in command of Heavy Cruise and Marie Claire. Frigat and Capitan is placed in command of Rostock. Austria Hungary and Italy, please because Austria Hungary consult Dalmatia. Well, not Dalmatia, but also Albania. Okay, tensions between Spain and USA increased but dropped because of the recent war. Okay. So you control Albania and the Dalmatia, and Italy hates that. But Italy will have to suck it up. There isn't much that we can say. And okay, tensions between the United States and Spain has dropped. Okay, fair enough. Our is free. It just increased. 
Interesting. The National Party manages to persuade the Kaiser to offer increased funding for Navy. Oh, yes. So let's see how much we're going to get. 155,880. Uh, alliance between France and Austria Hungary has expired. Okay. Unless this is reduced, as there is room in the government budget for some modest lawfare programs. Okay, so we're gonna drop unrest, and we're gonna get extra budget. Good. Uh, USA and Spain are mad because of Puerto Rico. Okay. Uh, did we gain anything? Unrest is still the same. Okay, so that's weird. <laughs> that is downright bizarre. Okay, but we have a little bit of a month of balance uh, now. So I'm going to start with the rebuilds of the Frederikas. Because that is very... That is basically dirt cheap and super cool. Um, so what did we want? Upgrade our guns. And give you mines and mines for big gear. And that's that. So Frederica's can be rebuilt like this. Accommodation spacious. Medium range, perfect. And more allowance we know. Yes. So 181 per month. That is super cheap. And we're gonna start rebuilding those. We really need a lot of these uh, mining ships. I would like to have them uh, Minesweeper, okay. Mine wire. I actually don't know how, you know, I, I think I said that before, but um, we're now in a territory of things that I have never practically played. I never really played such a long campaign that I would be past, I don't know, 1905, 1906. Uh, so, you know, mine laying, airplanes, uh, aircraft carriers, th this is all beyond my knowledge. So, you know, I'm basically playing blind. So if you see me do mistakes, please let me know. Actually, on one of the older videos, I just got a comment today that when you put ships on raiding, and I absolutely did not know that, they can run out of fuel and get interned because of that. So you need to periodically like, take them off raiding because they won't refuel themselves. I have no idea how that's possible, but that's how it works, or so I was told. But, you know, things like that can happen, so if you see me do something like that, please let me know. And because we're actually already rebuilding one of them, I'm gonna start rebuilding you as well. Uh -oh, rebuild the ship. Okay, we can pay for it. The ship heavy cruise according from barn under construction could be completed without best fire control. Yes, do that. And we got a research breakthrough, high capacity pumps and damage control improvement. Good. Great Britain has sold the ship heavy cruise level 5 into Italy. She will be renamed Francesco Ferrugio in Italian service. New ship under construction of course destroyed full mina. Is you want to carry four? inch main guns. Okay, that's fine. Uh, okay, so Koenig is being finished. Yeah, once that one is finished, we're gonna immediately start building another one. Increased industrialization improves national resources. Good. There has been an internal upheaval in Venezuela. USA is apparently sending a force there ostensibly to restore order but it is likely they have far more reaching plans. Would you recommend? We should issue an ultimatum demanding that they back down. Let's push for an international force. Yes, I reluctant to recall the expedition. Nice. Haha. <laughs> Get bent, USA. Uh, unrest is reduced. Okay. Yeah, we're at one. Increased industrialization improves. Okay, and that also means that we have a little bit more money. Now, I really don't pay enough attention to the base resources that we have here. Yeah, well, we're one base resource lower than Great Britain, though we have way less positions. But that probably makes us the second richest nation in the game. Yeah, USA is slightly behind us. Okay. 
Good, 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 good. That that means, you know, you you have a certain effect on this by gaining colonies, but also, you know, the game sometimes give you options like invest money into economy or you know into unrest and stuff like that, and that actually gives you an idea about how you can uh, affect these things. Okay, let's rebuild another of the. Frederica's again. I know this is not that um, exciting. These are you know super old ships, but for the and, and super small as well. But for the bigger designs that we want to rebuild and the destroyers and stuff, uh, you know, some gradual upgrades to our technology can happen, which can make those rebuilds even better. So I'm hoping uh, that might come into play. Great Britain and USA has renewed their security arrangement. Research breakthrough, hull construction, better steel quality, weight saving on hull of 1%. Sea Lova has finished our working up. Okay. Tensions between USA and Japan increased. More ships. Damn. Oh, that's the, yeah, foreign stations ship. Um, sea Lova. I actually don't know how mines work. I think they might just mine away on their own when they are in... Or maybe there's going to be another... Another option here when the game starts. I'll have to check that in the manual. I don't know how you can actually do that. Wow, you have a ton of anti-submarine warfare. Interesting. Either way, uh, we can start another rebuild of the Frederica's. Uh, this far, we're gonna finish it actually quite fast. Okay, rebuild you. Then the turn. Insufficient ships on foreign stations. Okay, well, Sea Love, I can take care of that. Can't it? Yep, it can. And it will. Our new ship, heavy cruiser, Koenig von Bayern, is commissioned into the Navy. Our best brains are hard at work studying the fascinating challenges of reliable power training and elevation, but the DR has been with the progress so far. New research area discovered. Our scientists report that they have discovered the exciting new research area of naval aviation. Lighter than air. Amazing. Amazing, amazing. Okay, so research. Naval aviation lighter than air. And we have an advantage in that one. Okay, so that's going to immediately become a high priority for us. Because I'm interested in getting uh, the airships. Uh, 1911. Yeah, well, we'll see. We'll see. The airships, uh, the airships are gonna be something that I'm looking forward to. I mean, they're not gonna do us much good. Uh, they're fairly weak, but I'm pretty sure that we will be able to soon start building bases and we can put some airships there and they will make our enemies miserable. Okay, uh, but we have finished the first ship of the Koenig von Bayern. I'm actually thinking if I want to Koenig von Bayern. Yeah, I could actually upgrade that. I can give you a director fire for more of these. I could actually give you more secondaries as well, if I wanted to. Not going to be able to make you faster, but oh look at that, we now, okay, we now have flight installations available on our ships, though, you know, we don't have any airplanes or anything. I can actually look at this. 
Okay, so the first one was König von Bayern. I'm basically gonna just consider these uh, the same class, even though I'm gonna rename it to Max Million the first Jewel. So it's still König von Bayern, just minor changes. We have the director here, and torpedo defense. Everything is the same, and we're saving a little bit on hull and everything. So we're gonna carry more rounds, have a little bit more secondaries. It's fine. Yeah, that's okay. Okay, it's gonna take one month to design that, which is cool. We're gonna save a little bit of money. I'm happy about that. So let's end the turn. The US government is interested in buying the rights to food tactics mine rails for 2,300. No, we have high tensions with them, no. And we were at war with them, so... <laughs> So no times two. Okay, Maximilian the first Joseph is ready for construction. Let's go to build screen and build it. Okay, it's gonna cost 2345, that's fine. It's gonna be ready in 25 months. And I wonder if Frederica's doing. Okay, six months, eight and nine. Frankfurt in 11, Berlin in six. Okay, good, good, good. So, yes, let's end the turn. A sudden slump in the economy has led to widespread unemployment and poverty, as well as cutbacks in military spending. You are asked to advise on how to handle the situation. Uh, any further cuts to the Navy budget are unacceptable, considering the tense international situation. Maybe the charities could instill some kind of relief to poor. Uh, we're gonna go with the government should consider social reforms to care for the unemployed. I want to keep the unrest level and we're in a very peaceful... This is gonna hurt though. Social reforms passed by the Reichstag. Research breakthrough fire control. Ladder shooting. Gradual national accuracy improvement. Ladder shooting is actually a pretty cool technology. You can... I think that we research things like that in um, the Hearts of Iron. Uh, in the World War One mod, it's basically when you uh, shoot a couple of shots over and in front of the ship, and you're trying to evaluate based on that how far the uh, enemy is. So they basically shoot, and you know you're under. So you shoot again a little bit further, and this way you can uh, easily uh, basically get closer and closer to hitting the enemy. So it is a pretty good good way how to improve your accuracy. Admiral Schreiber is promoted to Fleet Admiral. Okay, social reforms pass. Tensions decrease due to the war. It's fine. Okay, th this wasn't actually that painful. 581, we can handle a little bit more. No problem. Can okay. yeah, two months. Uh, wait, five. Yeah, that's cool. We'll, we'll be okay. We will be okay. So let's end the turn again. König von Bayern has finished her working up. A disarmament conference is being held in Hague. What are your recommendations for the delegation? We should not be limited in our national security by any restrictions. Keep up the appearance of being reasonable, but don't agree to anything binding. Uh, let's go with the first one. I would like to increase my prestige and tension, so I don't mind. Okay, so we sabotage the conference, <laughs> basically. Uh, so wait, how's the submarines? We haven't really did anything in that regard, did we? We do much something. Yeah, we have none of these newer ones. Why do you start? I think we ought to start. I don't know what the auto build does actually, but uh, I'm just gonna go with S. Uh, no, it's U206. We're gonna start building what medium range submarine. We have the money for that, so it's fine. So let's end the turn. With tensions low, the Reichstag votes on reduced naval spending. Great. And we're just starting to do well. A new hockey government wants to raise armament expenditures. What is your reaction? Excellent. This will ensure the security of our nation. 
A good navy is not a provocation to war. It is the surest guarantee of peace. But there must be a couple of careful diplomacy. Okay. Our research team reports that they have some trouble grasping the principles of hydrostatic pistols. Okay, so I wonder if our budget has dropped or increased based on this news. It remained pretty much the same, but tensions increased. I mean, not dramatically, but they increased. And we're still where we were. So it offset each other. I okay, me actually see officers. The incompetent one. It's Contra Admiral Heltigo. Can't I fire you? No, I can't. Uh, that sucks. What about our above average guys? Don't know if I have. You don't know if I have any places. I mean, I should start working on the new division structure, but for now, uh, we're still in the transitional period, so that's not. The case has been made aware of lack of ships on foreign stations. He strongly urges you to remedy the situation. What? We're okay. The ship Badarkuza Berlin of the construction could be completed with our best fire control. Yes, definitely. Our scientists report that they are working on the problem of superheater, but success has eluded them so far. I don't know this one. Oh! What is going on? Foreign stations, foreign stations. Foreign stations. You're supposed to be on foreign stations, why aren't you? Delphines, yeah, those need to be rebuilt as well, finally. Okay, in two months, the Berlin is gonna be built. Frederica and Henrietta. Okay, and we're gonna actually. Redesign the Frankfurt and start building another battleship of this kind. Well, I mean, I call them battleships, they're battlecruisers, so I should just stick to nomenclature. Frankfurt is the newer one. And we have another weight saving of 134 tons. It can definitely be used to store a little bit more ammo. Hmm. But not enough. <laughs> Maybe we're gonna get some other. The, the ammo is what I'm worried about. The 130 shells. I mean, these are extremely heavy, so you really don't need to hit many times, but still. But look at that weight! That's just nearly 2,000 tons just shells for the primaries. Uh, crazy. Crazy, crazy, crazy. Okay, and last turn now. Research breakthrough. Early airships enables airships. The Cape Battleship will have the first intelligence report from Japan. Under pressure from national politicians, the Japanese government allocates more funding to the Navy. Okay, research breakthrough. Naval aviation. Lighter than air. Early airships. Okay. So. Air groups, aircraft types, build force base, airship base. Okay, so we can start building airship bases. So if we want to start in. Well, this would be Germany, right? Yes. So if you want to build an airship base in Germany. And we want to do it probably in Wilhelmshaven. Uh, it's going to take three months, 233 monthly. Maintenance cost 46. Uh, we're not doing that great with money though, but yeah, Frederica, and you're going to be built in two, uh, next month basically. So that's going to drop us to about. What 500 in deficit and Berlin is gonna be finished, but we want to start building Berlin again. But these guys are basically responsible. That's what 700 
roughly more 750 so with these ones rebuilt we're gonna be okay uh, and we can continue building the Berlin uh, I mean the next ship of the it's probably gonna be Munich Munich has actually been unfortunately broken up on subway so we're gonna build a third battle cruiser uh, of the same class but it's gonna be called the Nick. I'm gonna see if we can upgrade it. Anyway that's all for this episode. Uh, it's January 1912. It took way longer than I thought. We have clocking in at 50 minutes it seems so yeah but great things are happening to our navy and I'm gonna build that fort. Uh, I mean fort, the airship base in Wilhelmshaven because I want to have it ready we're gonna see what's gonna happen if we're gonna have it available. I think we, the game needs to offer me uh, a design of the airship. So once we finish that, we should be offered. At least that's how it works with the airplanes. I don't know how it works with the airships, but um, there should be certain design process uh, happening within the game. And once that's done. It will offer me the option. So we'll see. A an entirely new chapter begins for us here. And you know, from Hel Wilhelmshaven, we can terrorize the entirety of Northern Europe. I'm looking at you, Great Britain. I'm looking at you. <laughs>